Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tactics Ogre The Night of Lotus. Last time, our troops headed through Naja Forest. This time, we head to Sotavento Village. So let's see what awaits us here. You're that kid from the ruins. So, you were lucky enough to survive, eh? I heard that you're no longer supporting the troops. Yeah, no longer supporting the troops of Felis, and are instead helping that woman from Gallius. I remember you. Let's finish this. Hm. I don't know how close you are to discovering the truth, but finding the sacred spear is just the beginning. Richter Lasanti intends to use Naris Batral and bring the spear back to Felis. But it won't be that easy. This is what you wanted to know, isn't it? Now come on, kid. Let's see what you're made of. This battle has several potentially interesting factors. Uh, the characters here are actually a little higher level than I remember them being. Uh, so, yeah, going to be kind of an interesting issue dealing with them. But I think I'm leveled up. Wow. My controller just slipped all of a sudden. I think I'm leveled up enough to take care of it, especially with uh, you, Fair and Elric here to help out uh, with the uh, damage dealing department. Now, at this point, you might consider putting Deneb on summoner duty, but you might want to make sure that you have uh, three different elemental types here. My recommendation is possibly have you Fair as water and give her Fenrir. Elric definitely should be Earth. Go ahead and give him Gnome. And Deneb, I just like having Deneb as fire, so... <laughs> there's that There's that only consideration. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo, yeah. Ramus is going to still remain quite useful. I'll send him up this way. Kid, don't take me lightly. Now, Nikart is actually probably your first unique class for a boss. He is an Esquire. You'll notice that he has Ice Javelin equipped, and that transferring stone means that you cannot kill him. He will retreat. Um, actually, I find that kind of interesting that he has that particular emblem. I'm going to leave that alone for now, though. Uh, however, there are um, four random treasures and one guaranteed treasure on this map. The guaranteed treasure is ironically the closest one, the easiest one to pick up. Anyway, random treasures. Starting here, at this step, you will find a random treasure. Next on the agenda is this one next to the bush. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to collect all the random treasures in this particular battle because of how enemies are staggered, but... Not a big deal, you can always come back and get them in training. There's going to be another hidden treasure here. Random. Random treasure there. And your final random treasure will be here. Now, none of those, I believe, actually requires any burning. Now they're all empty patches. But the final and most important treasure is right here, where you will gain your second Snapdragon Scroll. And... Go ahead and have Ramus come up here and collect that. I'm pretty sure he's not in any danger from any enemies. Yep, there we go, Snapdragon. Now, the most dangerous characters on this map... Uh, definitely not her. <laughs> With Ray of Paralysis, I have Cleanse, and I have plenty of characters that actually resist it. These three Valkyries can present a problem because they give a plus one to the mental gauge of all male units within three panels. Male units on this map. Uh, also, the priest here. He comes with heal plus, cleanse, and most importantly, resurrection. Now he does drop resurrection, so you don't need to worry about that so much but I might recommend recruiting him for that robe of the wise as well. Whatever you do, if you do decide to bring him onto your army, do not let him die. Uh, I think I'll have him positioned here to pick up that random treasure. 
and see if I can hit anybody with Shuriken. I think I can hit this knight. Okay, that's a bad idea. None of them are going to take much damage. Go for the knight. And, nope, hit him. Good, good, good. A Halt Hammer, okay. Kind of the I ironic thing, in my opinion, is that the Halt Hammers are actually the p priest's preferred weapons. I don't like giving them hammers because that's for physical attacks. I much prefer giving them, well, what I have equipped to Albrecht. That is his name, right? Yep, Albrecht, which is a wand. There is a bit of a bottleneck if you do it this way, but it works out in the end. I forget how much I love warp shoes. I really... they are just spectacular to have. I think I'll try to... get enemies to come this way. And Shivan took an absolute beating last turn. Uh, yeah, fluid magic is going to be a necessity here. And Alphonse is the designated I don't need MP character, so... He's the sacrificial make the summons happen character. Uh, as for his the knight's position, it's actually going to be better to go back a little bit. Yeah, I equipped Gnome to her for no other reason than nobody else really will use it effectively. Oh, he's Fire Element, so Gnome might be a good idea against him. No, that does less damage. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. That did not hit nearly as many times as I would have liked. Uh, that's weird, because uh, usually it does quite well. Um, yeah, we're going to heal you, Shivan. Because you took more damage than I like to see. I don't think he has anybody that can... Ah, yeah, Resurrection. I need to remember that that scroll, that somebody has that spell. <laughs> That's going to cause an interesting problem. Yeah, he can't do anything right now, so... Yeah, this is how much I say take care of the priest. I am going to experiment with this. And nobody else this turn, so... And of course, Nikark decides that Eleanor is becoming a threat. Oh well. I don't think that's going to matter too terribly much. As long as... let's see... yeah, she can cast again, which is going to be good. What's your elements, actually? Earth. Okay. Okay, this is going to become interesting, because I don't want to risk too much damage to... Uh, 
I'm not normally this reckless, but uh, this map halfway calls for it with that priest and his resurrection spell. Okay, Alphonse actually... Try to get a little closer to try to draw some people towards him. Because he has the best chance of... Whoa, not him. Elric, so that we have some more. It may seem foolish not to uh, attack with Alphonse. But it can be a very effective tactic to have him draw attention of enemies because of his priority. And have your summoners do their work because at this point they're the most damaging unit you have in your army. I mean, it says 16 points right now. It's going to be more than that. And actually, she can get behind this Valkyrie for a better chance to hit. Eh, not much better, but it's worth it. Oh, almost, I'm sure. Oh, wow, 45 damage left. Uh, let's see if Ivana can finish her off. 38, nope. I'm just going to have to handle it with Elric, despite the fact that that's a... Actually... That might be what I do. Rather than waste... Yeah, that'll work. That's gonna be just fine. And a critical. Now the Valkyrie... Yeah, Valkyries don't carry anything too terribly impressive on this map. Uh... Have him get to a more central location to more easily heal people. And... Why haven't I moved Ramus? Because I forget things. Uh, I think he'll go ahead and take care of the witch because Ray of Paralysis could become a problem. It usually isn't, but it has the potential. Ow. Okay, now they've decided to gang up on Eleanor, but she's still not in a bad position. Especially since I can move my priest pretty close. Let's see how close I actually am. Okay. Let's see what our potential recruit has to say at this point. 1%? Nope, that's not remotely worth trying. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> he doesn't need any immediate healing anyway, so I'll just use Shuriken from this point for the plus one. Well, actually, let's test this. 29 damage with Shuriken, and... 24 with... Let's go Shuriken. And... Move Eleanor where she can be healed and deal damage. 94 won't kill him. And he'll try to 
heal as well, rather than use resurrection just in case I kill anybody. So, win-win. Hundred and three dan uh, heal, so yeah, that's worth it. So yeah, I am taking quite a bit of risk in this uh, particular map, but in the end, I think it's going to be well worth it. You don't have enough MP. And Alphonse is an endless well of making my summoners do loads of damage. Don't worry, he, he'll get to attack, it's just... I have a lot of fun using him this way. It's kind of silly, but it works. Water element, so I'm... out of damage to you. In fact, I think I'll be able to kill you this turn. Yeah, that's what we call a very, very dead... <laughs> Enemy. Uh, the do, do, do. It might be worth it to see if I can aim at that knight. Okay, went too far. Uh, yeah, that's worth it. I'm not too worried about the knight drops either, because I think they both have sword emblem. Yeah, sword emblem, so nothing exactly what I would call valuable. And go ahead and heal Elric, because I don't like seeing his health that low. And this will probably end my turn. As soon as I actually use Ramus. who I actually believe has the Blood Rain emblem now that I think about it, so he... lowers mental gauges. Nikark got smart and went after Albrick. Uh, so that could actually pose a problem. Actually, no, Ivana needs to move, so that she can use uh, Salamander without risking hurting anybody. Ivana will go ahead and heal Albrecht because it's necessary. Yeah, very much necessary. Raymus actually might be better at damaging that witch with uh, Thunder Arrow, which is a bit of a surprise. Hopefully this is meaningful. 3%. Uh, let's try it. This is going to take a while. Uh, do -do -do -do. And that's probably another dead knight. One thing I should actually bring up is that Nikart is actually not a um, enemy you have to kill. Uh, Nikart will actually, despite having the 
gem of transfer, or the transfer gem, he will actually retreat at the end of the battle if he uh, goes below it's, um, yeah, that's, if he goes below 20 HP. So, just keep that in mind as well if you're trying to get treasures or recruit characters. Like, I'm trying to recruit uh, the priest up there. Which is going to prove interesting. I'm not going to sit here all day and try to recruit the priest, though. If I don't uh, get him after probably another turn or two, I'm just going to have to give up. Let's see what he does with Ice Field. 49. Yeah, let's go with that. And that is a dead witch. What is my party looking like right now? He's fine, so he can probably... ...retreat where it's going to be hard to hit him. And make sure that he can still... Yeah, he's in a good position to heal... Anybody I want. Good. And with that, this is Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.